Oh, I'd like to report that it's... Oh, okay. Olivia, it's not your time to talk, okay? Sorry, ma'am, you cut out. We will come back to you, okay? Go ahead, sorry. Go ahead, Andy. It just misheard. Okay, so... Oh, it's... Lana and Still no. Show me a little mercy after losing my son, and you can give me a couple more weeks. Olivia, They're not Olivia, moving. It's still not your turn. Olivia. Olivia, it's still not your turn. You need to wait. Okay? Is the children's counselor on the phone? Yes, I'm Okay. Would you like to provide any updates in regards to the children or in regards to the placement decision today? Um, yeah. In working with the kids, it's been a couple of years now that I've been counseling with them. And, you know, I've really seen these kids survive and grow and mature, you know, through the placement that they're in, you know, currently. It would be great to see these kids in a permanent placement, you know, for, for that could be. Um, my concern is, as I understand that Megan and Daniel do not have children of their own, <coughs> have not been parents before, and... They are yeah, absolutely not. Um, I have some major concerns about their experience and their ability to deal with the issues that I, I feel see with Dale and Lana and predict in the future um, for them. Um, Lana, as you probably all know, very open, can throw tantrums, can pretty open with her need to control. And I think that is probably easier to handle than fail internalizing and and sneak around and ask about what you need to do, just out of fear and anxiety. And what I've seen, you know, it's just an upset that come along you know, throughout the visitation and things happening in their lives. They have major, major trauma issues here and I'm very concerned about a young couple with not experience. Um, it may be fun and games, you know, for the first little while. I heard the kids talk about enjoying time with this couple, and they have fun. But fun is not necessarily what we're looking for here in the They do have fun, but they can talk about it more as they talk about their training. Um, things that they do, it's not as they talk about someone they look at as an authority figure, as a parent. Um, I know there was another couple involved that would spend time with them. I'm sorry, I don't have those names in front of me. But also spent time with the kids. Just kind of talked about them equally as far as spending time with this couple. But there was a very different tone. There was a different type of respect. Uh, more of an authority figure, it wasn't the fun and games and how many dolls they have to need to play with. So there was a real difference there in the experiences and, and how the kids were related to. So I have some major concerns in not necessarily right this minute because there will be 
your honeymoon period as you all know. Uh, I'm sorry? After the honeymoon period, when the kids, when the kids realize that this is, is permanent and when things really start to... It's not going to be permanent. Olivia, just let her finish talking, okay? I'm not going to let you hurt. Thank you so much for that update. Yeah, so we really... May... Okay. May I respond to that? Is this Megan? Yeah. Go ahead, Megan. But, hey, no blaming okay, or shaming so... here, okay? So let's just keep it all very professional. Um, everybody's entitled to their opinion, okay? 100%. No, we just wanted to make sure that everyone does know um, we do have an extensive relationship with them as well as um, working with them in school um, and that we are... Um, it's still no. My kids are going to And um, Olivia, it's not your turn to talk, okay? Go ahead, Megan. So, um, we have so much experience um, working with their age kids especially and so we just wanted to put that out there as well. And we're always looking Awesome. Thank you so much for letting us all know that. I really appreciate it. Cassie, this is Andy. Can I ask a question of Sandra? Sure. Yes. Sandra, are you able or willing to provide family therapy for Lana and Dale if they are in fact placed with Megan and Nathaniel? I am, and I'm, I'm very concerned about that because I do have a good relationship with the kids, and, and a relationship developed over a couple of years. I think if they were to change therapists, it would really set them back because of the time involved and too many changes at once. Right. I've already spoken with Megan and Nathaniel, and they did state that they are willing to keep Lana and Dale to see you as their therapist, but what I'm talking about is are you willing to sit with Megan and the Lana and Dale because of your concerns to help them work through those concerns with you? Oh, absolutely. And in their place for now, with the trauma area, I've often been on the phone a couple of times a week, you know, talking with the, the parents about, you know, different ways of handling things and trying out to do that or whatever. And I absolutely open to being available. Thank you. Perfect. All right. Oh, no, excuse me. I'm, I'm not talking. Right. Excuse me. May I comment on this? Oh, sorry. Not yet. Okay. Uh, I wanted to comment on the Lana and Dale thing, if we may. Yes. All right. For as long as Lana and Dale. They said we had to contact April and send her your stuff to get it checked again. <laughs> hey guys, guys, it's Olivia. guys, it's Jamie's turn to talk. Yes, so ma'am, go ahead. Jamie talk. We will get to the both of you in a minute. So I will just voice my concern about this. Um I I understand that Lana and Dale are not yet in a long term placement and that's the goal of every child. I absolutely understand that. There have been a few cases where this situation has arisen uh, where basically, and this, I absolutely preface this, but this is no offense to the potential placement uh, because I'm on the place of the children and the people and it is a new law in my case for the foster care family. My concern is, is this situation comes up basically as you know, these, these children are here, we're not on the placement, but our friends are, and that 